April's night. It's a rare week, I wonder if I'll ever get the hang of you. I used to think that I was something cause I'd been around the block a time or two. I used to not have a care in the world until the day I started chasing all the pretty girls. Because love, love, love don't come easy. I never knew the places where hot monkey love could take you. It was a train I did not want to ride. It always lived like fun for just a little while. Good evening. Hi, Nikki Shore. I'm here to meet the Global Water people. Right this way, Miss Shore. Oh shit, it's only me and the ferocious Fifi. It's just you and me tonight. The others had to fly back to Europe to circumvent some crisis or other. Champagne? Please. You know, uh, it's not easy parting ways with an agency after 20 years. Well, I understand that. But they have consistently kept you at number two. If you come with Wigan and Nori, I will personally guarantee Global Water will be number one worldwide. Really? And how do you propose to do that? I will eat, sleep, and breathe global. That's what we're counting on. Congratulations. You won't regret it. I better not. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? Business aside, let's get to know each other better. Is there um, anyone special in your life? No. Give us a moment, Michael. Certainly, Miss Taylor. I um, took the liberty of ordering for you. I hope that's all right. Oh, it's fine. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. What do you like to do for fun? I work. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You've got the account. <laughs> <laughs> I like your smile. Thank you. I've always been so insecure about mine. Why? You have a great smile. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to say that. It's true. You know, you, you have a little bit of something, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be coy with me. No, I'm sorry. I just think you misunderstood me. Oh, I don't think so. You're driving me crazy. Miss Taylor, please. I'm not gay. Oh, right. Miss Taylor, please. Oh, you know what? This is really very awkward. Oh, and I, I think, just, just let me rub up against you. It'll only take a moment. Just put it down, Michael. I'm sorry. I've just been a little horny lately. Oh, no, it's fine. I completely understand. To Global? To Global. Today, Nikki. Couldn't be better. Great. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Duncan. Hey, how'd it go last night? How do you feel about a view of the Charles? Sweet. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you grab me a cup of coffee? How many have you had so far? Five, six. Oh, okay. Thanks. Where's Nikki Shore? Mr. Wigan? If you were a guy, I'd tell you to keep your dick in your pants. What? I don't care if you want to diddle every woman in this city. Just don't do it on my time. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're scaring me. You damn well ought to be scared. I just got off the phone with Fifi. She's ready to sue both of us. It wasn't like that. She's the one that hit on me. All I know is we lost a $50 million account last night. 
was I supposed to do? Sleep with her? For $50 million? I'd have my own mother go down on her. You're done. Out of the office and clean your stuff out. You, you gotta be kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? No, but, but Mr. Wigan, I mean, I have busted my ass for you. You can't Ooh, just... Go, go play it on somebody else. Do not cry. No tears for God's sake, be a woman. Why does she have to look at me like that? Shit. Keep it together. Okay, Brianna, are you homesick today? Just faking it. I so need your advice. So, tonight's the night. We're doing it. You have to tell me how. With Justin? Of course with Justin. Well, you have had ten boyfriends this year. Not like Justin. Does your mom know you're planning on doing it? She doesn't care. Now, I need specifics. So, now when I put my tongue in his mouth, how far do I go in? Inch, inch and a half. An inch and a half? Do I poke it in and out or swirl it around? Why don't you poke it in and out once and then do that swirly thing? Now, what about moaning? Do I moan a lot or a little? I heard guys like to know you like it. Can the moan. You know what the most important thing, though, is the block. You gotta keep your elbows down at your sides. You can move your hands. Just make sure your elbows remain locked at all times. Wandering hands, you know. Oh, good, yeah. I need you to do me a big, big favor. My mom has a date tonight, but my uncle is staying the weekend. I told you how strict and uptight he is. I want to get rid of him for an hour so Justin can come over. So, would you let him come over and give you a massage? <laughs> Not gonna let your uncle give me a massage. That's his job. I'll pay for it. With what? Please. Fine. I can use a massage. Just tell him to come over at six. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Be careful. I will. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm Thaddeus, Bree's uncle. Come on in. Do you uh, need help with something? Oh, no. I'm all set. Thank you for asking. That's very kind of you. Sure. Any particular place you'd like me to set up? Right there is good. Can I get you anything? Something to drink or...? No, oh, no thanks. I'm all set. Here. What's this? In case you're modest. Some women are self-conscious about their cellulite. I personally think that the Lord gave women cellulite for a reason. And that would be... Well, some things are known only to the Lord. As soon as you slip out of your clothes, I'll be ready. Oh, okay. I always like to start a session with a prayer. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Oh, dear Lord, let us feel your presence as we embark upon this journey of healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, bless this massage. Sanctus, 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 Semperfy, in exalted. I'm sorry, what, what, what type of massage is this exactly? It's a non-secular, full-body tension release. Now relax. Now is the time when you tell me what's on your mind. Just, just release all your anxieties and confess what ails you. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> no, 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 I feel it right here. I mean, did something happened to you recently? Your body is screaming. I got fired today. Good. Now breathe into it and say it again. I got fired today. One more time. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. Exhale. And say it louder. I got fired today. Yes. Yes. Oh. Look at these phalanges. So strong yet supple. Now just relax. Oh. 
Oh, ticklish. I'm sorry. Just relax. I'm just going to relax your legs and Most of my clients request it. I, I can put them back on if you, you like. You do that? What kind of clients do you have anyway? Exclusively female. I found that all women hold their tension in their clitoris. And once released, the healing can begin. What kind of a whack job are you? I don't know what you mean. But you know what? This is good. Let it out. I don't need to let anything out. Just you, go! No, 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 bring it on. Give it to me. This is what I'm here for, to heal, to love, to make what is wrong with you right through the power of our Lord Jesus Christ in massage. Would you please leave? I think there's more work to be done here. No, you know what? I actually feel much better now. I think I can handle it from here. You are really very good at what you do. Really? How much do I owe you? Oh, no. No, this one's on me. Great. My first time in two years, I'm in my underwear in front of a man, and he's the deacon of the church, oh, come Copperfield. Fuck me, I need to get a life. Well, I'm pretty much booked for the next week, but why don't you call my office on Monday, and we'll set something up for the following week. Okay, here you go. Ready? Thank you. Here you go. Peace be with you. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Drinking down single file, the line falls to the right. I'll take you on one by one, baby. I've got all night. Hello, is Ted there? Who's calling? This Nikki. Yes. Nikki Shore. May I tell him what this is in reference to? He's to date. Well, he doesn't date anymore. I'm his wife. Oops. Hi, this is Alan. Can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message. Hey, sorry I never got back to you. This is Nikki. Nikki Shore. You, um, you called me a few months ago and you asked me to go to a, um, um, game. And I'm, shit, sorry. I'm, uh, uh. I'm really busy then, but now I just got fired today. I've I've got lots of time now, and I'm sure if baseball's still on or anything, but I thought maybe we could um. Hello. Oh hi, is this Nikki Shore? Alan. No, this is Billy Bob from Rogers Telecommunications. Oh hi. I'd like to tell you how you can save money on your long distance. Sure, that'd be great. I've been in the city about eight years now. I had a job until I got fired today. This really nice woman, she just wanted to sleep with me. So stupid. What's the big deal? I should just let her rub up against me. What's the big deal, right? Hello? Hello? Billy Bob? Uh, hello? Nikki, it's Clay. Your ex fiance. Shit. Did I call you last night, too? No. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, so I just will. Your Aunt Nicolette died last night. Nikki? Yeah, I'm here. I'll be there as soon as I can. Why do I feel so alone? God, it shouldn't be any different. I can't believe I'll never see the only mother I've ever known. Well, I guess I haven't exactly been the stellar daughter. I haven't been home in, what, eight years? 
My whole life, Nicolette's flitting around the world and dropping in at my boarding schools between breakups from her latest beau. And then at 70 years old, she decides to be a stay-at-home mom. God, I just couldn't stay there. I knew she was lonely. I should have known how desperate she was when she gave my fiancé the money to start a brewery. Anything to keep me at home. There's a there. Next stop, there's beer. Clay must hate me. He has every right I split on him without even a note. I just wanted him to have his brewery, and I wanted my career. That worked out well. Hi there. Hey. Is that all you got? Yeah. I'll take it for you. How was your trip? It's pretty smooth. Thanks. Good. Harry, if I had never made a deadline, you'll get your piece. Yeah. What a dink. You're awfully short. I'm three. Three? Ah, uh, well, that explains it then. Come, let me show you to your room. Come on. Careful. My mommy and daddy are dad. They're in heaven now. You'll be living with me, Nikki. Maybe we should have a bit of gin just to calm our nerves, hmm? Okay. Nikki? You all right? Yeah. Sorry. Whose stuff is this? Mine. After Nicolette had her stroke, she was pretty bad off, so I moved in to take care of her. But uh, I'll move it out. No, no, it's fine. I'll just, I'll go stay in her room. Nicolette hated getting old. Figures. I'm gonna go into town and get some supplies. You want anything? No, thanks. Okay. You hungry? More like ravenous. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Welcome. So, what happened? Well, I found her in bed, so she must have died in her sleep. The strange thing was she was wearing a wedding dress. Who knows? You know, I was thinking a nice thing might be to spread her ashes out around the waterfall. Sure. Is that all right with you? Yeah, no, that'll be good. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. You don't like it? No, it's good. Since when don't you eat meat? For, for a while now. They don't eat meat in the city? I don't know what they do. I just don't, I don't like it. Hmm. That's odd. Why is that so odd? Well, you used to. Slam burgers were the best of them, girl. Well, so things have changed. Are you on drugs? Excuse me? Well, Nicolette said the last time she talked to you, you sounded different. We thought it was drugs. Oh, you did, did you? So the two of you, what, sat around here and ate your meat and talked about me smoking crack in the big bad city? Thought you didn't eat meat. Mm. 
I'll eat your damn meat if that's what this is all about. This is about caring about somebody else. Who? You or Nicolette? Don't flatter yourself. You know, you could have at least come back to see her once. You know what? I have a job. And I can't just come back here every two seconds. Well, I'm glad you could break away from your busy schedule to come and bury your aunt. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. You know what? Thanks for the delicious meat. Forgot what I've been missing around here. Oh, morning. I got your report. Great. Thank you very much. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. P. How you doing, Eddie? Hi, Clay. How Hi. you doing, young man? Oh, I'm doing great, Daddy. How are you? Good, thank you. Hey, Janine. How'd it go last night? You wouldn't believe it, Maddie threw two touchdowns. Oh, I'm sorry I missed it. That move you showed her, it made toast to that other team. Oh, that's great. Good for her. still on for today, aren't we? Uh, I'm sorry, Lissy. I've got a... But I got these wicked awesome crawlers so we won't get skunked again like last week. Yeah, I can't today. Is it because of Nikki? Yeah, we've got some things we've got to do. Okay. So we'll do it tomorrow? Okay. Oh my god, Eddie! What have you done? What happened? It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. What time are the hops supposed to go in? Like oh, over two minutes, forty seconds ago. It's... I'm sorry, Mr. P. Don't worry about it here. Just clean it up. Okay. This isn't gonna work. It's 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 not gonna match the other batches. This is Bunky. It's this is gonna be gonna okay, work. Okay, Bunky. No, it's not. Well, what should I do with no. this? No, just throw it out in. No. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. Bunky. Bunky. What? I need a lift to the store. Or actually, you must have coffee here. No, sorry. <clears throat> oh, uh, Nikki, this is Bunky, our brewmaster. Bunky, Hi. this is Nikki. Hi. How can her. an office not have coffee? Well, Daddy already has a shake, so we had to nix it because we couldn't keep her away from the coffee. But I'll take you out to breakfast. Okay. Uh, but what, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, listen, five minutes is not going to hurt the beer, okay? Yes, it is. You'll figure it out, well, we, Bunky. We could just let it ferment for two more days, you know? Five weeks, six years, just... Doesn't matter. Hey there. Thanks, Dewey. Sorry to hear about your aunt. That's sweet. Hey, Stewie, how the fish biting? Mm -hmm. They're all winning me, those little suckers. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do that to you. And there you go. <laughs> oh, that, my friend, is not a word. It is too. I'm afraid not. Clay! Clay! Is frog the word? Frogged? Frog. Well, that depends. Depends on what? Whether you're cheating or not. He's the lawyer. <laughs> well, then frog's definitely a word. Thank uh, you. <laughs> easy, easy, guys. All right. Clay, good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Fairbanks. Oh, Nikki, Nikki. My condolences. Thank you. Nikki? Lyle? Oh, I'm going to be dropping around in a few days. Uh, 
We have to, you know, go over some things. Okay, yeah. sure. I'm gonna grab some coffee. I'll be right there. Watch out for him. Hey, Nikki! Stacy! How are you holding up? I'm doing all right. And who's this? Mikey. He's all mine. <laughs> At least I think so. Uncle Clay! Hey, Mikey. What, did you get kicked out of school today? No, Miss Sanders has the cramps. Mikey! Mm. Well, that's what she told Mrs. Rogers. <laughs> well, good for you, bad for her. How long are you staying? Just till I get things settled. Nikki! Yeah. You look great. Oh. <laughs> you, you guys coming over for a beer tonight? I don't know if, um... We'll see how it goes. I'm sure they have a lot to do. Oh, right, of course. Are you hunting now? No, roadkill. Hey, can I get you two something to eat? My dad makes wicked good egg sandwiches. The best. Egg sandwiches it is. Okay. Clay! I was just headed up your way when I saw your boat. Ah, uh, Nikki. I've got your aunt right here. What is that? It's an ash shaker. I invented it myself. It makes it real easy when you spread around the ash. Oh, whoa, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, uh, ash shaker. Yeah. What? An ash shaker. Uh, yeah. yeah. An ash shaker it makes it easy when you spread around the ashes. She liked the yellow roses. Okay, well, thanks, Max. Thanks. You, uh, you two kids have a good day, huh? You might recoin the phrase, golden years ought to be applied with laxatives and tied to a walker. Nicolette? I look really good, don't I? Really young. So I shaved off a few years. A few? I wasn't aging well, don't be so insolent. You like? You're getting married. Fortunately, you won't have to suffer through it. You won't be missing much. The guest list is comprised of a bunch of stiffs. My wit came with me. And the groom would be? Clay Parker, of course. You're marrying Clay. My Clay? Oh, your Clay, no silly. Clay Parker Sr., his grandfather. Love of my life. Since when? Since always. Oh, God. We should have relations that definitely would relax you. Relations meaning sex? Oh, please. Run into a very tight person. I think anyone would be uptight who had their dead aunt hanging around giving post-mortem sexual advice. I would have given you advice sooner if you just would have come home every once in a while. Go away. I don't need advice, especially from the UN ambassador of Spread Eagle Come See My World. Oh, if you're suggesting I have ever been other than sequentially monogamous, you are sorely mistaken. How long has it been since you've had sex? That is none of your business. <gasps> That's what I thought. A girl your age really should be active. Don't you think I want to have sex? I don't know, do you? Of course I do. I haven't had so much as a roll around in a bazillion years. Hi. Hi. You're home early. Early? It's nine o'clock. I haven't been home this late in a bazillion years. <laughs> right there. Right there was the first time I ever saw your titties. You did not. Oh, yes, I did. Shut up. 1981, yep. I think you were like over there somewhere and that little <laughs> tiny green bikini top was floating way over here. I am so sure you didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. 
Yep, you did a cannonball in there, and if I'm not mistaken, there was a lot of extra room in that bikini top of yours. <laughs> well, that is because I was being optimistic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and rightly so. <laughs> Well, I think we should talk. Say some memories about Nicolette. You know what? I don't really have any memories that are appropriate for the situation. Are you forgetting your 13th birthday party? My 13th birthday party? You threw me a bat mitzvah. I simply wanted you to be culturally aware. You were dating Marvin Steinman, and you wanted him to think we were Jewish. What about India? We had a nice time. Oh, yeah, India. You left me in some barren ashram with a bunch of undernourished kumbayars. And you, you're off on an elephant tour with Prince Rajiv feasting on Tika Masella. It wasn't an appropriate tour for a child. It's not appropriate for a 10-year-old to be fasting. I cannot be around you when you're this negative. Okay, go then. Okay. Well, it wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's a start. Oh, come on, Nikki, don't be like that. Nikki! Feels nice. Mm. I'm really sorry about pushing you today. No. You know what, I was thinking, maybe we just leave her here, you know? Sure. So when are you heading back? Well, as soon as I can, I do have to get back to work. Right, of course. You know what, I had this really weird dream that Nicolette was hanging around. It's probably normal. If I saw something and you didn't, do you think it's in my imagination? No, I just think you're crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Nikki. You're probably exhausted and just need some sleep. You're right, I am exhausted. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Good night. Good night. Morning. Hey. Mr. Uh, Fairbanks, he's up at the house, and apparently you have to be there for the reading of the will. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello, young man. Hello? Can I get anybody, anything, before we get started? No, no, no. thank you, dear. All right. This is the last will and testament of Nicholas Ann Davis. God love her. Dated August 25th. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, you can run details. Oh, here it is. Uh, 5,000 acres, livestock, castle, brewery. Essentially, everything she owns, she leaves to uh, Nicole and Clay to be divided equally and provisionally. Provisionally? Yes, the provisions are that you must reside together in the castle and work full time, side by side, in the Lucknow Brewery for a time not less than one year from this day forward. Is this some sort of a joke? Should either party fail to adhere to these provisions, both parties shall forfeit their inheritance. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's not right. Let me simplify it for you. Both of you have to live and work together or get nothing. Okay, is this even legal? People are entitled to leave their belongings however they wish. Did you witness this thing? Uh, no, Arthur Finkel signed his witness. Okay, fine, here's what we do. Clay, you just stay here, you run things, I'll go back home, and then a year, we sell it, we split it, and it's done. I'm afraid uh, that's not possible. You see, I'm the trustee, and I must monitor provision compliance on a random basis. What if we don't comply? Well, then the entire property will be turned over to the Harry Krishnas to use as they see fit. Well, that concludes our business. 
goodbye and uh, good luck. I'll see myself out. <laughs> the Harry Krishnas. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand there and help me. Help you what? I can't walk down the aisle like this. It's ripped. What kind of an insane game are you trying to play here? I have no idea what you're talking about. Even from your grave, you're still trying to manipulate me. Has it ever occurred to you that I may know best? No, never. This time, young lady, you're not running. Is everything all right? She's driving me insane. Who? Nicolette, she was standing right here. Oh. God. Okay, come on. Let's oh, get to She bed. really was. She I'm really sure was she right was. here. No, I no, it's okay. Come on, let's, get, let's go to bed. It'll all look different in the morning. Come on. Somehow I doubt that. You late? Don't push it. I hear she's staying. I hope they get back together. He'd be a fool. She would just leave him at the altar again. Oh, they didn't quite make it to the altar, dear. I don't know what Nicolette possibly thought you could do here. Well, I do have a master's in business. I'm sure I can come up with something. That's right. You're going to have to quit your job. I already have. I think Clay is such a catch. Yeah, and that big fish is mine. <laughs> have you learned nothing? So we're really going to do this? You know, at this point, I don't see any choice. She chased that Simmons boy straight into the next county. What was that all about? I happen to like four-wheeling. Oh, yes, just like you like fishing. Don't you know you have to settle down and act more like a lady? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for women living, but just not when you're courting. If Clay wants you, he'll come to you. There is only one thing standing between me and Clay. Is it true that you're staying? I'm not really sure. I actually need to talk to your father. Is he around? No, he's out hunting. Well, when's he going to be back? When he either shoots himself or his limit. <laughs> well, can't you get in touch with him? What do you want with Daddy? Well, he witnesses the screwy will that my aunt left, and I need to talk to him in better state of mind. Well, he always said she was crazy as a loon. Are you and Clay getting back together? Oh, God, no, Lissy. I just want to get this will business taken care of and get the hell out of here. I think maybe we can help each other. Men like that, I think you really should consider wearing a skirt. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm almost done in here. Um, do you want me to wait for you, or...? No, no, no. I have to take a share. I'll just meet John down there. Okay. I saw you, Pete. I did not. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Shut up. You don't have to get so mad at me. It's nothing you haven't seen before. Well, not for a very long time. Apparently not for a very long time. Ha ha. Not bad, huh? It is never gonna happen. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Nikki! Nikki! Lyle, what are you doing here? Uh, I came to fix something. Fix what? Anything that's broken. Uh, where's Nikki? Aren't you a little overdressed, Lyle? No. Well, nothing needs to be fixed right now, Lyle. Well, uh, maybe Nikki needs something fixed. Now that's a definite possibility. I'll get her to call you. Think she will? She might. Yeah? You never know. Oh, good, good. Oh, oh uh, could you uh, give those to Nikki for me? Sure, well, of course. Uh, don't forget, all right? Nope, I won't forget. So, uh, you really think she's gonna call? Did you talk to him yet? Well, no, not yet. Well, do you think he'll go for it? I'm sure he will. He doesn't even know you like him like that yet. It's true. Did you get a hold of your father? What is it? Excuse me? Okay. What is it? I... 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 Eddie, I'm in the middle of a conversation here. What do you need? The idiot probably just dropped something again. Eddie, what? What is wrong with him? Oh, he's just stupid. So what's next? Just come over tonight and I'll, I'll come up with something. Morning. Hi. Hi. Oh, these are for you. Thank you. 
They're from Lyle. Oh. Everything all right? Everything's fine. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Just having a little party in here without me? <laughs> no. There has been a snafu in today's delivery. Oh no, what now? I'm afraid I did not witness the incident. You should have a look-see. Nikki! What? Nikki! What? What did you say to him? Nothing. What's wrong with him? Well, you must have said something to hurt his feelings. Why do you think it was me? Because everybody else here knows not to. He's extraordinarily sensitive. He's been drinking. We should just fire his Nikki, ass. Nikki, he's a good kid. He just has a little problem coping with adversity. You know what? When he sobers up, you gotta say you're sorry to him. Well, I am not apologizing. Come on. You know what? If you're gonna work here, you gotta get with the program. No, the program needs to change. This is ridiculous. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Are you sure this is gonna work? Oh, trust me, this is foolproof. Huh? Hey, Nikki! Lissy! Ah! My two favorite girls. Hey, ah. How you doing? Sorry, Nikki. How you doing? Oh, it's nothing to me. Oh, tequila. Roger started some drinking game. Roger? Was Roger there? Now, why didn't she tell me? Whatever. Maybe what? we should just get you to bed. No, 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 no. Let's have a drink. Come on. Oh, I'm out, pal. I think you've probably had enough, too. <laughs> Later, I tell you about Lissy. Let me tell you. Do you know that Lissy here, she's the best friend a guy could have? She's the best friend. Do you know she's the best fisherman that ever lived? You look really good. Thank you. I really miss you, Nikki. Laura, come on, you. Let's go. I did. Where are we going? Okay, are we gonna go fishing? Maybe tomorrow. Oh, let's go play. Night, pal. Watch that step. <laughs> Night. Night. I heard about the will. That's whacked. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about it. Would it be all that bad to live here for a year? You know I couldn't do that. I remember thinking that when Stacy and I fell in love and she wanted to live here. I never thought I could do it. <laughs> I don't know exactly when it happened, but I just fell in love. In love with the people, their idiosyncrasies. Stacey, I am <laughs> glad you're happy here, but I just want to go home. <laughs> okay, I hear you. We just missed you is all. Good night. Good night. See ya. Take care. Uh, may I please have a word with you? Sure, come on in. Uh, I know you're a creative business person, and uh, I can sense that you would like to see some changes around here. So would I. This is a finished product. Luck now means me. I'm the brewery. Does this happen often? In the six years we've been open, 436 times, that I know of. Well, we've got really great people here, but as employees, I, I just don't know. Well, Lissy's boat is out there, but where is she? She's not on the line. Janine, oh, the poor dear, even with her glasses. I I I'll come up with something for you, Bunky. Great. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to be heard, you know. Okay. okay. Thank you.
Good morning, honey. Oh. Hi, Lizzie. Come back to bed, sweetheart. No, no, Lizzie, look, 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 look. I, I, I really don't. I really don't know what happened last night. Yeah, I don't but... know either, but it was magic, wasn't it? You know, you know I, I don't feel so. Well, I don't think that'll make you feel oh. better. Oh. I could just rub your head. <laughs> Look, look, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay, baby. I'll just make you some breakfast. No, I can't. I'm feeling better. Look, I just, I just need to get cleaned up, okay? Oh, all right. Great, thanks. Lissy, not here at work. Lissy, not here at work. Well, it's nice of you to join us. I had permission. What's up with you, girl? Clay and I are officially a couple. Oh, I'll believe that when I see it. Kiss Clay right yeah. on the mouth. Oh, he's such a tickle bunny. I've got such a headache. Well, Mr. Tickle Bunny, I'll get you an aspirin. Here you go. Thank you. This water is amazing. It's right out of the faucet. Yep, it's what makes the beer taste so good. Is it from our springs? Yeah, we pump it right in here to the brewery. Well, why haven't you bottled it? It's too expensive. It's a $50 billion business. Is that right? Don't you see? We're sitting on an absolute fortune here. Fortune or not, we're not going into the bottled water business if that's where you're going. Oh, come on, Clay. It's not as scary as you think. It has nothing to do with being scared. We're a brewery and everybody's happy. And why is that? Because they don't know any better. That's why well, they no. just... No, you, you just don't get it. You don't get it, do you? What is that? Lunch. Everybody eats at the same time. Mm-hmm. Of course they do. Are you coming? You want a soda? Sure. Thanks. That's uh, quite a meal you got there, Bunky. <laughs> yes. My culinary skills are quite developed. In fact, this meal would go perfect with our last year's gold medal winner, our India Pale Ale. Of course, we don't partake of alcoholic beverages at work. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my mom made these. Do you want to try one? No. Oh, sure. Thanks. Oh, what did he give you today? It smells like a sunflower. Sunflowers don't even have a smell. Sure they do. Everything has a smell. Dottie, hmm? I forgot to put your napkin in. Oh, we have napkins here, Max. But not like his napkins. Thanks, honey. Have a nice day. Oh, Nikki, how'd that ash shaker work out? Oh, fine. Thanks, Max. Good to hear it. I uh, got a patent on it. Could mean big bank one day. See you at home, honey. Hi, Max. When are you going to marry him already? Oh, I'm just taking my time. How much time do you think you've got left? I've got plenty of time left. <sighs> Where's Clay? He's out there. He just walked by. Oh, honey? Aren't you going to have something to eat? Nope. But you need your strength. I'm not hungry. 
men. Anyway, I know that Halloween is still a few weeks away, but I just wanted to tell you that uh, Clay and I are going to be having a party. And uh, you're all invited. Oh, great. That's nice. Boston Mass, please. Global Water. Yes. Yeah, um, Miss Taylor, please. This is Nikki Shore. Oh. Um, I have a water sample that I'd like to send out to her, so I just need to confirm your address. Great, thanks. Solids and stripes? You're on. Talk to Bunky today. Oh, is that right? Clay, you have people working in jobs who aren't even qualified. Oh yeah, like who? Well, Janine's in quality control and she can't even see. Janine is a single mom whose husband brought her up here and then left her. She needs the job. I'm confused, is this a charity or a business? Nice, real nice. Don't answer it. Okay. I mean, have you even seen how Dottie puts on the labels? Look, for your information, Ms. MBA, most of our beers go out in kegs, which, by the way, Eddie can lift several up. Yeah, when he's not drunk. Look, if you don't like the way that I'm doing things, why don't you just go home? Oh, nice try. It's half mine now, or it will be. Look, you know, I'm just trying to help. For your information, the brewery's been in the black ever since it started. Yeah, but you could do so much better. It's a microbrewery, Nikki. Would you just let me come up with a little reorganization? Okay. But nobody loses their job. Fine. Hey, didn't you hear me? I was ringing the doorbell. Hi, Lissy. <sighs> Brought some decorations over. I think we should get started. We're having a Halloween party. <sighs> what do you think of him? Isn't he cute? I thought that he'd look really good on the front door. And I got some fake spider webs for the ceiling, and I got hay to put on the floor and flowers for the living room. Ah, what do you think? <sighs> I think I don't feel so good, and I'm just going to go upstairs and go to bed. Good night, girls. Night. I talked to Daddy today, and uh, we didn't get around to talking about Nicolette yet, but he is going to call back. Okay. And I think that I'm going to have to move in here, because well, it just doesn't look right otherwise. How's Clay going to feel about that? Well, that's your problem. You have got to see this. You have absolutely no sense of decency. Oh, I've never seen the point, really. Oh, my. Move over. Lizzie, look, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't. You can't or you won't. You said you loved me. Lissy, I, I, I don't remember, but look, we've been friends for a really long time. Come on, let's not blow it, all right? You begged me to make love with you, and I believed. Okay. Oh, okay. And I believe. All, all right. Uh, why don't you just lay down here? Come on, come on, just lay down. Just, just relax. Just relax. All right, that's it. That's Will you lay with me? I, okay, Please. okay, okay, okay. Oh, that is so pathetic. I thought the tears looked pretty good, actually. Oh, the girl's in love with someone who doesn't even like her. Oh, you're not going into that crap, are you? Love and obsession are two different things. How do you know? Excuse me? What do you know about love? I know. Can't disguise the way I feel inside. Let your love don't make the same mistake that I did. We loved each other so much. I know he didn't even get my last letter. It was just too late. He went and married somebody else. Yeah, he sure did. That's the saddest thing I ever heard. I'm so sorry for you.
believe it went straight to him. It had to at least be 45 yards. I'm gonna have to steal him for a bit, little one. Honey, we have to mingle with everybody. Oh, here, let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. I, I don't think we've met. I'm Bunky. Bunky? Oh, Janine. Wow, you're, you're, you're beautiful. Uh, oh, okay. Did I miss something? Well, Cupid just came to our doorstep. Oh, nice. Isn't it though? <gasps> Is that Mr. Fairbanks? Mr. Fairbanks? Doesn't mommy make a great Cleopatra? Uh, yeah, she, she does. Clay said you'd call, but I guess you got busy. I'll fix anything you get broken for free. I mean, no charge. That is very sweet of you, Lyle. You really deserve a woman who loves you. Yeah, but you love Clay. I, I can tell by the way you look at him. He loves you, too. What makes you say that? I heard him talking with Danny at the bar the other night. Well, will you excuse me? Yeah, go ahead. driving me nuts for weeks now. I forgot all about this room. Yeah. That's a cute little outfit you're wearing. Oh, this old thing? Yeah. <laughs> remember that Luau? Yeah. You couldn't wait to get there. <laughs> all I remember is that hula dancer who looked like she ate a couple of her co-workers. <laughs> I think she wanted to noni noni you. No, I think she wanted to have me for lunch. But you saved me on that one too. Yeah, well. Just that kind of gal sometimes. Yeah, you are. Everyone gather round. I think we better get back. Everybody, we have a big announcement. Oh, there you are. Come here, honey. Go ahead. Well, as everybody knows, I love this lady standing next to me. I've asked her six times for her hand in marriage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, the seventh is the charm. Oh. Everybody, we have another bit of good news. The love of my life, Clay Parker and I, are expecting our first child. <gasps> I'm Gregor! Oh, that's wonderful. I beg to differ. What's wrong? Her. All I said was it smelled like it needed more Chinook. Can you believe that? But it does, and maybe a touch more halitile. Work with me here, Bunky. Just try it. All right. It's perfect. It is. Okay then. Janine. Thank you. You're welcome. What was that? Thought he just got a sale. So is congratulations in order? Honey, look at what Janine brought us. That's nice. Are you feeling better? Uh-huh. Oh, good. 
I can't believe this happened. You ever hear of birth control? I don't even remember sleeping with her. Oh, how special. <sighs> No way, man. I'm not letting you do it. It's not about me anymore, Dan. But I don't even see how it could have happened. You were shit-faced that night. Doesn't matter how, the point is it happened. Listen, how about this? Just sit on it for a bit. The best decision right now is to not make one. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. We're gonna need more milk. Oh, I'll put that right on my list. Look, Daddy won't cooperate. Excuse me? Well, with the baby coming and all, we need all the money we can get. Of course, that means you'll probably have to stay, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Oh, you don't. Um, will you excuse us for a second? Sure. What is it, honey? I think we should get married. Yes! Yes! I would love to marry you. Morning. Morning. Morning, Monkey. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Janine. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. Good morning. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, honey. Come on, Eddie, let's get these cases out. What's with you? He's gonna make a wonderful husband. Aren't you jumping ahead of yourself a little bit? He popped the question last night. What? It was so romantic. Oh. That's wonderful. I know. Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> When's the wedding? Very, very soon, and you are all invited. Oh. Huh. Excuse me? Did you hear that? I can't believe he asked her to marry him. I know. How could he? It is amazing, Water. I'm glad you feel the same way. Two weeks? Oh, I was just hoping we could do this sooner. All right, well, when you come up, I'll, I'll just show you around and we'll sign the contracts then. Yeah, thanks, Fifi. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you, too. Honey, dinner's ready. I'll be right down. Hurry before it gets cold. I'm coming. I've never known you to be such a quitter. It's your game, and I'd say it's over. I mean, you can't quit something you aren't playing. Oh, there is no baby. How do you know? You have to have sex to have a baby. Did Clay tell you they had sex? No, he said he didn't remember. Well, they didn't. What do you do, like lurk around and watch people in intimate situations? Basically, it's my only form of entertainment. <sighs> you really should tell him. No, I'm staying out of it. You know what? They haven't had sex yet, but they will. If you're not going to do it for yourself or for Clay, think of the child those two might bring into this world. I mean, for God's sakes, you could have that girl's hair. <laughs> Give it up, Nicolette. Nicolette? <laughs> Mr. Finkel, how'd you get in here? Don't move. We'll get him. Well, just put that down. It's fine. I asked you here to talk about my aunt. Your aunt? Did you know, young lady, that I lost my virginity to your aunt many years ago when I was just a young buck? No, but thank you for sharing. It's fine. Just leave it. You know, it was a never-ending rutting season with that woman. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> no, no, stay. Take this. Keep your eyes open. We'll get him yet. Look, I know that Nicolette had some crazy notion about Clay and me, but she's with your daughter now, and they're having that baby, and... Baby? She can't have kids. She's sterile. 
Hands up! He's right there. I need you. I need you to say that Nicolette was insane. This is your lucky day, pal. Mr. Finkel. Nicolette was as crazy as a loon. Thank you. Oh. Couldn't sleep? Thanks. Clay. I don't think there's a baby. Don't start. No, really. I mean, you don't even remember having sex with her. She could be lying. For your information, we did make love. Oh, he was smashed that night. Not that it's any of your business, but we made love in the morning. No. No, we did not make love that morning. Lissy, are you or are you not pregnant? She's the liar. <sighs> yeah, did you know that she's been trying to get me to get Daddy to change his testimony so that she'd get everything? I heard you on the phone. Clay, she is selling the springs and everything. What? No, it's not like that at all. All I was doing is I set up a meeting, and that's the end of it. You never cease to disappoint me. Well, maybe your expectations have always been too high. Apparently so. Wait, sweetheart, you can't just walk out on me. Watch me. Huh. You mother-rutting cow. I'm gonna kill Lizzie, you. Stop it. Calm down. Calm down. You want me to calm down? I'll tell you when I'll calm down. I will calm down when you're dead. Nice one. Is that the good champagne? No. Put the nice bottle on ice. Maybe we should have a little. Just to calm our nerves a bit. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Here. Oh, hi. Where's my little snuggle buggle? Oh, Daddy. She made up all these lies and now Clay's gone. Oh no, not this again. It's all my fault, you know. I taught my little girl how to hunt, and I guess it just doesn't work in the romance department. But I loved him, Daddy, so much. Oh, I know you did. I know you did. Just like all the others. Well, let's get you home. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. We'll find another young buck for you, one that isn't so particular. Uh, skittish, skittish. It's all right, dear. Don't worry about it. Honey, sit up. Smells really good, sis. Thanks. It's delicious, hon. How you doing today, bro? I'll live. You going into work? No. You know, uh, we could use some help with the store. That's a great idea. No, no, no. I was thinking that maybe I'll uh, just take some time out on the boat today. No, we could really use the help. I insist. I need some time. Clay. Okay. Sheesh. All right. Thank you.
Hello, dear. I hired some new people to keep up with you. I really love it. You are an amazing saleswoman. Thanks. Uh, oh, here are some expense receipts. Uh, now, there's no hurry on them. I know where you work. <laughs> Thanks. Anchor. Stace, hi, it's uh, Nikki. Do you know where Clay is? Yeah, he's here. Well, I have a bit of an emergency. Clay has the key to the strong box and, and Dottie desperately needs to be reimbursed. Clay, the phone's for you. I'm not here. It's Nikki. I'm not here. She needs the key to the petty. Tell her it's in the bottom right-hand drawer of the desk. Did you get that? Yeah, great. Tom, thanks. Bye. Just a half cup more of the Vienna, and try a dash of the chocolate malt. Um, Matt Maddie has a game tonight, doesn't she? Seven o'clock. Would she mind if I came? I think she'd really like that. Yeah. Well, m maybe we could uh, get a bite to eat afterwards. Maddie loves pizza. Uh, well, what do you like? Me? Yeah. Um, pizza? Sure. <laughs> you are not allowed to speak to me like that. Hey, man, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. As I searched for the light in the darkness, I stumbled across some truth. We used to be two burgers, so medium well. Are you okay? Nothing but restless. It's funny how when you're 21, you think you know it all. They set you up to conquer the world. This is a watch you find. Just one moment you believe The truth will always set you free And it feels like rain, feels like rain. Watching the clouds Is uh, Clay here? It's okay. I, I just wanted to give him this. It's the deed to the brewery. I'm heading home in a couple of days. We're gonna miss you. Thanks. Will you tell him that Dottie's up to 23 new accounts? Oh, and Bunky's made four new types of beer, thanks to Janine's help. And Eddie, he defended himself yesterday. <laughs> Great. <laughs> they all miss him. What about you? What about me? What? Do you miss him? Yes, Danny, I do. See ya. Do you get all that? Yeah. The brewery's gonna have to have access to the springs. Absolutely not. The brewery will just have to find another source of water.
Excuse me. We're in the middle of a meeting here, Sonny. It'll just have to wait. What you need, Eddie? I just want to let you know that the eclairs with the maple sprinkles are here. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to thank you all for coming, but I'm afraid it's not going to work out. You're crazy. We're offering you a fortune here. You know, that just doesn't sound quite as good as it used to. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an eclair to eat. Oh, shit. You two have completely and utterly exhausted me. The springs are yours, and she's yours. Don't screw this up. What the? Attention. I'd like you all to take a beer. Eddie, you get water. <laughs> My lovely wife and I would like to thank you all for a job well done. As you know, we set our estimates this year at $10 million. Twelve. $12 million. Bottom line, we blew the lid off of those projections and we ended up grossing over $20 million in revenue. Congratulations and thank you all very, very much. What's next? It's a rare wick and wonder if I'll ever get the hang of you. I used to think that I was something Cause I'd been around the block A time or two I used to not have a care in the world Until the day I started chasing all the pretty girls Because love, love, love don't come easy I never knew the places where hot monkey love could take you it Was a train I did not want to ride it always looked like fun for just a little while Until someone decides they want to be a June bride Oh, my love, 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 love Don't love, come love. easy Love don't come easy as a matter of fact I can still hear my dear mama's words She said to keep on trying if you don't just succeed But it's better to be single than to wish you were Thanks 
you back to me and you and you and me How our love is blind, it's just too plain to see And that anything was happening is worth fighting for I just can't fight the truth that it's you I adore Cause even when you're angry, you're still cute as a bug And I just think about the makeup, kissing and a hug and Oh no, 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 no Love, 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 don't call me dead.